a weird way to start a show. <laughs> a lot of weird things just happen. This is cool, but it's also like weird to bring me up to <laughs> after you give six people out of a hundred a prize. <laughs> And then you just see the other 94 pissed off. <laughs> like you guys just look furious. <laughs> They're over here drinking champagne. You guys are like, well, you better be fucking funny. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> this is cool, yeah. Just six dudes and some tiaras, huh? Just like, right here, six dudes and popping bottles. Cute, cute life. You guys look like you are. I've never seen each other before. Like you're on the opposite ends of it, and then you two are like, we've been dating for a while, and you two are like, we just started going steady. If you can get that bottle open, we'll see. Daddy's thirsty. <laughs> Your daddy. Okay. I'm married. Been with her a long time. Do we have any couples in the crowd tonight besides these three? Yes. Yes. With her? Because she's shaking her head now. <laughs> Did you guys just break up? <laughs> she's like, I'm only staying with you if we get a beat back. <laughs> Is it with her or somebody else? <laughs> you two. Oh, okay. Are you sure? <laughs> What is happening here? <laughs> Did he just ask you out? <laughs> oh, a year and a half. Oh, a year and a half. Okay, so you're over it. No, I'm saying. <laughs> oh, both of you? Okay, great. You guys met here? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How'd you ask her out? Or did she ask you out? I, I think it just kind of happened. Yeah. Like, it was on campus, there was like two girls, like, I was in that. <laughs> I'm not your dad. Why did you explain it to me like that? Like you're in trouble. She said there's 17 guys and like two girls, whatever shit happens. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> For real, what the hell does that mean? Explain. <laughs> 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 like, let me explain, you know? <laughs> of women? Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. But there's 17 dudes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that... I feel like you're saying two things that don't equal another thing. <laughs> and I feel like this is a campus full of very intelligent students that know that this plus this equals this, but you're not getting me there by going 17 dudes, two chicks, shit happens. <laughs> That's not a good equation. So he was the only one to ask you out, 17 dudes? Or did they all, at, like, did they audition for you? <laughs> huh? <laughs> she no. tried them all? <laughs> you try them all and you choose the best. All right, also not a great thing to say. <laughs> So, did more than one ask you out? No, I thought I avoided everybody. You avoided them and then yeah. he got, he, he got, got you. He Pac-Man his way. <laughs> to okay, and then wh what did you say to her that made her, like, just completely ignore the Hi. other 16 men? <laughs> hello. You said hello. <laughs> right, well, that's very innocent after all the bullshit we just talked about. <laughs> That's pretty basic. <laughs> That's all the other 16 dudes had to do? <laughs> Greet you? <laughs> Did you take her out on, like, what was your first date? After six months. Yeah. After six months, you yeah. took her out. Oh, okay, so you guys took it really slow. <laughs> What did you do for six months leading up to that? Did you just every morning wake up, walk over to her and go, hello? <laughs> God damn, I'm kind of getting into that guy. <laughs> he said hello to me 30 days in a row. 
Well, what are you gonna do if he asks you out? I don't know, shit happens. <laughs> okay. So six months, what, honestly, what did happen in those six months? You just... I didn't have a car, you didn't have a car. You only got there at lunch. You had lunch, okay, see, so like... Really yeah, you dated like you did in, like, like, high school. Yeah. Okay. You met at the cafeteria. <laughs> first time I saw him, oh, okay, you said that like kind of romantically. <laughs> first time I saw him using pepperoni pizza. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yummy. <laughs> and then where'd you take her? We took sushi. You were like rented his like friend's car for like a day. You rented your friend's car? <laughs> What a shitty friend. <laughs> is that guy here tonight? No. Uh, he's at NYU now. Is it NYU? Oh, okay, that's where my wife went. Uh, that's, uh, that's horrible. <laughs> of course he's at NYU. He saved money from being a piece of shit <laughs> and making his friends rent his car. I don't have any friends like that who I'd be like, hey man, can I borrow your car? And they'd be like, you can for this press. <laughs> So do you have insurance? Because that's another 15. <laughs> that's horrible. You rented your friend's car. How much did he charge you? He didn't really charge me. He didn't really charge me. He just said, like, be safe. Yeah, that's all. He what? said, be safe? Okay, well, that's not renting. So <laughs> I feel like I'm really losing you guys. <laughs> uh, and then you took her to sushi. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's a romantic date. That's nice. They don't sell that at the cafeteria? <laughs> <laughs> On Wednesday? Oh, okay, so you could have just stayed here for another six months. Hugs are the worst. I hate them. More than geese? That's a weird question. <laughs> That's kind of how this show's going. <laughs> I should have anticipated somebody going, more than geese. <laughs> Not even the same type of family of animal. How do you feel about iguanas? <laughs> no, they're fine, I guess. <laughs> they can use some lotion. <laughs> they are dry. Um, uh, more than geese? Why did you say you said? You know what you said that? Like uh, you had a flashback <laughs> to a very traumatic experience with a goose. They're everywhere on campus. Oh, they're on campus. Oh, okay, well that makes sense. They guard the sidewalks. They guard the sidewalks. I like how each person has a different story. <laughs> they're everywhere. They guard the sidewalks. Someone's in the back, like they stole my baby. <laughs> One of them came up with a gun and was like, give it. <laughs> they have teeth, teeth on their tongues. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Keep yelling facts about geese. <laughs> we'll never get to the next joke. <laughs> My wife, when I get back to the hotel, she's like, how was the show? I'm like, oh, it was good till it wasn't. Uh, but we had a fun time. I told three jokes and then we just kind of talked about geese for a <laughs> Out of Snapple facts. <laughs> they have teeth on their tongues. Is that real? Yes. 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 Why do you know that? <laughs> you looked it up. <laughs> you were having a conversation like this, and then you looked it up because that's what people can do with their phones now: is look up really vital, important information. <laughs> Like, do geese have teeth on their tongue? Which is in your history now, forever. <laughs> That's weird. Um, why did you yell that? What was your experience? I got chased by one. You got chased by one. You've also been chased by one. Is anybody else hurt tonight? <laughs> Emotionally? This feels like a good room to do it. This is very therapeutic. I like the lighting. <laughs> Nobody else? The issue with geese is that they're here year-round because, you know, when it gets cold, the geese live in Terre Haute, migrate to Florida, and then the geese in Canada, migrate to Terre Haute, and then we all get up. And they're always cold. I am trying to figure out how to move on. 
<laughs> and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get out of this. <laughs> You know what's so funny? You know when you have like a weird experience and you think like this is gonna be the weirdest experience I have for like a while, at least a week, probably. That's how I felt when I was talking to that couple. <laughs> and I didn't know the second weirdest experience was gonna be right the fuck after. <laughs> Geese are here, then winter comes, they migrate, then more geese come. <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> if you're a goose. <laughs> I feel like they're just terrorizing you guys on purpose, and it's probably the same geese. Do you understand? And they're like, yeah, we're migrating, and then they just circle around and scare you again. <laughs> But yeah, I do, I do hate pugs more than them, because I've not been uh, nearly as affected as you guys. <laughs> I don't know if you understand this, but the geese problem is not outside of this campus. <laughs> They're not hurting anybody else. <laughs> yeah, one guy in the back, they hurt me. <laughs> also, how do you feel about koalas? <laughs> Does anybody have weird pets, since we're on this topic? I got a goose. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know, so every winter a bunch of geese just gotta walk through my yard. I just got a buffer fish. You got a buffer fish. A puffer. I was like, what is that? It's just it also has Tourette's. A puffer fish. Okay. And those are the ones that if you uh, threaten them, they expand. Have you done it? Yes. Yeah, that's the only reason to get them, right? But it's, it's super rude. It's like super messed up. Show us your trick. Is it cool? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty They're sweet. They're aggressive. They're aggressive? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just poke them. If you poke me, I'm also going to get pissed off. Towards the other fish. Towards the other fish. Not you. No. Because they didn't know it was you. Because you feed him. You think he knows that? <laughs> I doubt he looks at his bowl and he's like, there he is. <laughs> the man with my food. <laughs> Always circling around and poking me for no goddamn reason. <laughs> Can't get mad at him, he feeds me, so... I guess I'm gonna have to kill you, Howard. <laughs> Just Howard the Clownfish. <laughs> In the corner, juggling. Why? <laughs> If you're not laughing, get the hell out. <laughs> this is improv. Uh, puffer fish. That is cool. That's the first time I've heard of that. That's pretty cool. Uh, anybody else? Yeah, your friend? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, what do you have? He's like, sometimes I go to his house and I poke his puffer. <laughs> Which is a thing I'm not going to say ever again. <laughs> She's like, don't worry, shit happens. <laughs> we had horses. You had horses? We still have them there at home. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is going to take a really sad turn. We had horses. We don't anymore. What happened to them? The geese. <laughs> took them out with a sneak attack. We all thought they were migrating and they started coming out. You have horses, that's pretty awesome. And just, you have a farm? Or just like, yeah, studio apartment? <laughs> Sit on the couch, and that's Steve. That's pretty awesome. Anything else? Possum, that's uh, not a pet. So sorry to break it to you. That is, uh, they snuck into your house. That's, <laughs> Did you treat it as a pet? Do you... She had babies? She had babies? Or, well, that still doesn't... <laughs> my wife just had a baby. She's not my pet. She's not my pet. <laughs> you guys and your, like, steps to get to things. <laughs> so, like... 
I feel like maybe you're all very super, like super book smart, and then when you like talk out socially, shit just does it always. <laughs> It's my cousin. Why would you say that? <laughs> she has babies. <laughs> Anybody else? Yeah? My grandma has a squirrel. Your grandma has a squirrel. Also not a pet. That's something that old people just point outside. <laughs> like, there he is. <laughs> It's in her house? Get it the fuck out! <laughs> you also have a snail? I bought two snails, and then they don't stop reproducing, so like, a month later, I had like a hundred of them. <laughs> I got the fucker fish, because he eats the snails. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Just the communist leader of a fish tank. <laughs> Who are you? If you're goddamn tall over, your goatee, you just walk into your home, you're like, what can I do today to ruin this little civilization? <laughs> huh, too many snails. What can I do? Oh yeah, fuck you. <laughs> He's mad and look at him go. <laughs> Eat those babies. <laughs> Stupid hours. <laughs>